Hello, and this video is going to show you briefly how you can set up a switch in C Sharp. Now, in Python, you will have used lots of if statements. If you've coded in Python before, you will have done nested if statements that are kind of within each other. Now, what we're going to do here is slightly different. Uh, I'm going to get some input first. So I've got, uh, we're going to do int j equals console dot read line. Now, what that means now is any input will be stored as an integer. Now, you're noticing I'm getting an error here. What we actually need to do is to convert that to an integer, we need to say convert dot to int 32 and put that in brackets there. All right. Now, what that is doing is any input that we get in C sharp is usually stored as a string. What this allows me to do is to convert it into a number. All right. Now, the next step is to actually create a switch. So what we're going to do is go switch in brackets day, open your brackets, and this is where each of our cases are going to go. So if case, all right, if the number one is received as input, it's going to say console dot write line Monday else break if the number two is typed in console dot right line Tuesday break if the number three is typed in Wednesday will be typed in. Let's check this for the time being. All right, let's see what whether this works or not. So inside here, I'm going to run this. And it's going to ask me to type in a day. So please type in your number. I'm going to type in the number one. Let's close that error for a minute. I'm going to type in the number one, and you can see it says Monday. Let's run that again. Type in the number two. It says Tuesday. So the good thing about a switch is it gives you more structure, and you can kind of see what is going to happen as a result. So. What I've done here is I've taken in an input and I've converted it to an integer so that I can check the case. You don't always need to do that. You can actually, if you wanted to, uh, let's change this statement. Please type in your name. And we're just gonna go string teacher name equals console.read not line. So I'm changing it. I'm changing my program up. Switch teacher name. So whatever is typed in here, if it is Mr. Chambers, lesson in CS2. If it is Mr. Vacklehor, lesson in CS1. I'm just going to remove those statements and just show you how you can still work with strings because you might want to do a quiz of some sort. All right, let's run that and see how that works. I'm going to type in Mr. Chambers. That's an NCS too. So that is how you do a case switch.